Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this is a five minute video on my latest blog post, Best WordPress SEO Plugin by Yoast. Yoast is pretty well known in WordPress. He's, he's one of the uh, WordPress SEO gurus. And uh, he's got an all-in-one plugin. Um, it's, it's very popular. Uh, I know a lot of people like to like to install uh, all-in-one plugins for WordPress. I think this is the best one available because it's not too complicated. Some of the other ones have got a, a large amount of modules, and there's quite a lot of uh, quite a big learning curve just to learn how to how to configure the settings and set them up properly in the first place. Whereas this plugin covers all bases but it's a lot easier to set up and, uh, and it's very very effective I've, I've just installed it to my own uh, thesis theme which has a lot of inbuilt uh, SEO settings already that are built into the core framework uh, but I really like this plugin I think it's a fantastic plugin and uh, and I've been playing around with it all day and I've just written a blog post so uh, if, if you're interested in an all-in-one solution, if you're not uh, if you're not using a premium WordPress theme which already has built-in SEO um, into the core, uh, I, I'd certainly uh, recommend this. Here it is in the back end. Once you've installed it, you'll find that it's uh, it's down here. You've got a whole range of different settings and pages. You've got the dashboard titles, indexation that covers permalinks, internal links, RSS, and you've got import and export there, and you can edit the files. So uh, you can import head, uh, Headspace into, which is another SEO plugin. So. Uh, but when you've installed this plugin, it, it actually gives you a snippet preview of, of what your uh, what your blog post or your your website page will look like in the in the search engine results. And this will be based on the SEO title that you put into this blog post and you put into this uh, this configuration here, and also your meta description, so your overall description of the the content of that blog post. Um, so based on these two inputs here, this is the result that it'll that it'll look like, and this is exactly what it's going to look like when it hits Google. So uh, this is really good to make sure you've got all the main keywords and related key phrases and long tail keywords included in your meta description and your SEO title, and there's your main focus keyword here which you enter as well. Uh, you'll have to complete some basic keyword research. I use the free Google AdWords tool, which a lot of people use. Uh, so this is really simple, really. You just need to edit in the main title, which make sure you, you include a keyword or a key phrase related to the overall content of your site, and just a basic description. Make sure you, you, your main keyword's included in this basic meta description here. Don't stuff it with too many keywords. Um, and and your uh, your focus keyword, what he calls a focus keyword, I call it a main keyword. And it will tell you here, you've got one in the article heading, you've got the main keyword in your title, in your permalink URL, I've got 16 in the content, which means my keyword density is good. In the meta description it's twice. So I'm fully covered here. You can click here and find related keywords. You don't really need to do this. Um, but this is what it'll, uh, it'll it'll give you here, and there's some advanced settings as well. And these are very simple; just leave them by default. You want it indexed and followed, and uh, you don't want any re redirects or, or anything in here. So you don't have to touch these advanced settings at all. You just install this plugin, and you focus on the SEO title. Make sure you've got the main keywords in the SEO title and the meta description. Uh, and simply by choosing your main keyword, which you enter here as your focus keyword. So it's very, very simple. This is the SEO configuration for each uh, for each postal page that you create, and it's pretty much very similar to what the thesis theme offers by default, which is built into their core framework, it, it, except it gives you a snippet here as well, which is really, really good, and, and also tells you that you, you're covered here, and, um, in your main areas for your keywords, so that's fantastic. Uh, there's a lot more to this plugin. There's a lot of other things here. You can see down here. I don't have time to talk about them today because I'm I'm only making five-minute videos. So uh, so that's it basically. Uh, my blog post is uh, it's 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 live today, so you can see all the other information.